Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Tavish Durham and this is part 5 of my Silver Shroud Fallout 4 playthrough. I'm just going to do a quick save right here. And I am entering Diamond Piper, City. Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer scrapped for parts. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, huh? Whatever. I'm not going to be here long. Another senior evil type. I'm doing just fine with all the inept guards. <laughs> no. Is there anything in particular you came to our city for? Just looking for something. Oh, uh... What is it you're looking for? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Did you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing person to help with her, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Well, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow everything. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find a toy of it. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City security can't spare one officer to help. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, the big diamond city of the moon. Is your honor yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop on the opposite. I'm happy I can't find out if I'm looking for the floor. Well, so far so good. My video game hasn't crashed at all. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I wasn't lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Oh, of course you do. Now tell me the one about you. Uh-huh. Hey, it's Gluckshire. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? What are you looking for? My boy Sean has been kidnapped. He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but I know their orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. I can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. People panic. How about we do a simple trade? Money for information. Hey, I don't take bribes, okay? No. I just need a little information, bro. You can keep this off the record. Okay. I can at least point you somewhere. Unofficially. When you get inside the city, go to the back, around the market, to an alleyway. There's a couple of bright neon signs. Valentine's Detective Agency. No one likes going there, though, so... Buyer beware. Thanks for your help. Yeah, well, good luck. Stay out of trouble. That is one of the many ways to get recommended to go to Valentine's Detective Agency. I have not actually actively seen or done that way forever. I just thought maybe I could just go and see who's actually over in that corner. Usually it's just Deacon. Hey, 
kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> hey, Piper, it's newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Thanks. I guess. I'm serious. The Institute. I believe you. You are a real. Hey. Something kind of funny that I learned the other day. Takashi is voiced by the individual who came up with Silent Hill. He, uh... I don't know, I think he just likes doing that every now and then, to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm waiting five hours so I can get rid of all of that, all of the guns. I'll keep the junk jet. I'll probably never find that ever. I'll sell the baseball bat to this nut. He ain't a nut, but he's close. You there! You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swat. I'll take a look, sure. Handmade, each one. Got cedar, you got mahonic, mahogany, regular swatters, baseballs, gr baseball grenades. Let's see what he's got in the way of ammunition. Huh. Hey, there's a fire on the old theater district that's parade is only. A combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. New guy, am I right? Yeah, I'm the new guy. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. I've got a few minutes to browse. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. Time to look at weapons, and he has a fat man launcher called the Big Boy. For 11,528 caps, I will never be able to afford that. He's also got the protectors left and right arm guard for 4,257 caps and 4,269 caps. 
and a power armor frame. As well as shipments of aluminum, copper, gears, and screws. He's got 308 rounds, 56, 38 rounds, 7, 5 caps each. That would clear me out. Done with him for now. Now, something, probably a random event that I have never seen happen, personally, except you finding it on YouTube, arms. Arms. is where she, or somebody, marries either Mr. Handy or I bought. Self-prescribed as recommended by me, myself, and I. Gotta pick me up if you're feeling glum. I've got a few minutes to browse. Got your fix. Ah, stem packs. The most expensive items in the whole game. Solomon. Gotta pick me up if you're feeling glum. I'm looking for a job, if you got one. Yeah, I got something. Looking for a mutated burn if you find any. I hear some grows out near Forest Grove Marsh. Natural radiation sucker. Be great for cooking rad X and rad away. Mutated fern. Sounds good. Cool. Yeah, he gives off that type of odd vibe. Thanks. Hi. Around here, we call your haircut the scab special. Little flecks of blood, give it a personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. All right, just sit down, relax, and let the magic happen. May as well add some facial hair at least. Mm, that's a good sign. Oh, I have a pretty decent charging cable nowadays. Storm, Geiger countered, Rad Rage. I'll have to remember to come here after, uh, 
as you see in on the PlayStation 4 which I have I'm doing a playthrough that's basically cook cook from Fallout New Vegas uh, more of a redemption type of story thing or something I'm not sure Figure it, I'll figure it out later. You know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever, and they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mouth. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand click size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. I'm not looking to buy right now. Another time, man. Hey, Sheffield. Look at all that. You want a soda? Is that it? No doubt in you, we have some. Can't be around booze. Okay, what some people don't know is he's a recovering alcoholic and he's been told to drink Nuka Cola instead of liquor. Here you go. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. Here to pick up a swatta, right? Got any work? Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting is for punks Weston had an estate not too far from you. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catches me, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those rounds. What do you say? 100 caps seems what? I need more. I like your mind. We'll make it 125 caps each. Card and it and a ball down. I think I'll use this to get rid of some of those more off and unusual. Uh, stuff. hello. Have you been here before? Nope. First time. Thought so. Some ground rules. This isn't a charity. Clothes are for sale if you have the money. Otherwise, the door is right there. No mooching. Got it. Good. Now that we understand each other, welcome to Fallon's. Happy to show you everything in stock. Fallon's Basement. Interesting name. Yeah, it's ancient. There was a Fallon's here back even before the war. Brandad always said we had a tradition of quality and affordability. Yes, affordability got too expensive for some folks. Damn thieves. And it ain't like Diamond City Security helps. <laughs> Why doesn't Diamond City Security help you? Good. My husband got taken, all right? By the Institute. Security wouldn't look into it. I raised a stink, and now I'm blacklisted. Your husband was taken by the Institute? Well, he ain't here anymore, that's for sure. Not like the Institute leaves a trail besides those damn synths. What's a synth? You're joking, right? A synth. 
Those machine people, the Institute girls. Lucky me, huh? The Institute I've got a few minutes to browse. A paying customer. Finally. Okay, she's got the champion chest piece and right arm. Which reduces damage from robots by 15% for the chest piece and plus one to agility and perception with the arm. She also sells hazmat suits for $196, as well as helmeted cage armor, a lab coat, and a longshoreman outfit. Mechanics jumpsuits. Take one of these. Go through here to my apparel. Sell the drifter outfit, the eyeglasses. Let's see here. Put the postman uniform. I think I'll keep the new jumpsuit. And I got a hazmat suit for free! I'll assume you knocked that over. For God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Sith! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no Sins in Diamond City, you hear me? Just you folks and your oh, damn paranoia. Officer? I need you to step away, Scabber. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Mm-hmm. Why didn't you listen to me? I told you I wasn't a synth. What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need him. Go back to your own damn business. Move along. What did you see here? Doctor. Move five, Lord. You have a legitimate medical concern. It's just about the facial reconstruct. I need some supplies, Doctor. I suppose I can spare some supplies. And this is where you can get the syringer rifle. And as well as stem packs, right away, and the like. Let's see how many stem packs I got left. Nineteen. I'll probably grab just three. Hey, Scabber. Got plenty of Brahmin meat on the house. Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big dumb, got four legs and two heads? Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes you get weird stuff from the caramels, too. Weird stuff? Weirder than the two that tell me? Yeah, Prince Charming. Weirder than that. Mirelurk float flies, rad stags. So Ain't like you can be picky in the common ones. I'll take a look, sure. Check out these cuts. Well, at least I'll get rid of all the 
rad stag. As well as the bloat fly. Let's see here. She got one Brahmin feet, but literally, well, she also got a lot of ribeye steak and the like, as well as mutt chops, grilled red roach, crispy squirrel bits, and baked bloat fly, as well as 38 pistol rounds. Food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout in, and that's the booze. Yeah, it's gotta eat. What can I say? A real diamond city boy eats the news. Hmm. That's kind of a funny conversation. Oh, um just a minute, get him. I am in middle of story. I am crossing rivers, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters, a Meyerler. A Meyerler? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really good. Jim! No. I forgot you were there yet. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no, I kid, I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to work. So, this new bar? Damn straight it is. My brother, Yefim, and I make the best moonshine in the entire plum. We call it Bobrov's Best. Have to start renting out rooms just so customers can get a place to sit to pass out after drink. Hmm. <laughs> reminds me of some of my I'll take cousins. A look. Sure. Good. Good. Sixty-nine caps for it. Not too expensive. As well as thirty-eight pistol rounds too. That's getting interesting. Customer. Need a room? What's the story with this place? Not much to say. We sell food, drink, and rooms. Mainly for traders that come to the area. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waitress, and she helps me keep the rooms clean. As much as they can be. Not interested. Not fine. But no sleeping on the couch. Hmm. Kinda of funny. Every time I come across one of these porta diners, I try my luck. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't Miss? Nothing. Hi there. You can order drinks and food here or at the bar. Who owns this bar, anyway? The Bobrov brothers picked this place up a few years ago. Uh, the Dean Bobrov is the loud one, and Yakin Bobrov is the quiet one. And I'm the one that has to listen to the market. Huh. Reminds me of me, my, me and my brother. Don't need anything today. Later, then. And here is Hawthorne. Excuse me. Hey, what's your story? Mercenary, caravan guard. Wrong on both tries. Hmm. I can usually spot a higher gun on the first look. Maybe you just give off an armed and dangerous vibe. Anyway, I'm just kicking back and sharing stories while I'm between things. I've been all over, seen vaults, pre war ruins, and plenty of monsters. Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. 
you want to talk something really scary, it's the Institute of your sentence. Don't go to University Point. Trust me. You don't want to know it, do you? You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? They stand offish for every once in a while. They'll let me keep it. So you explore old ruins? Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town farther than north. I made it. I can't see around, Alvaro. Later. Hey, Alvaro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, a little bit of history. The reason why he doesn't have a good feeling for uh, Salem is because back in the day a very long time ago during the Salem witch trials the judge presiding over most of them was Judge Hawthorne and that is his ancestor according to war fallout lore anyway so yeah, that's why he gets a bad feeling. I don't know who lives right there, but the uh Oh, it's Myrna's place. Yeah? Hey. Whatever it is, leave me out of it. And right there's the little shack that is Diamond City Radio. Travis. Hey. I mean, I mean, I Hi. Again. Uh. Hi. Hi. Don't, uh, don't, don't break my stuff. If you, uh, if you don't, if you don't mind. Brothers are looking for you. Purified water. Don't die of thirst out there in the Commonwealth. Hey there, purified water. You won't find this out in the Commonwealth. You by yourself out here? That's right. Been on my own since I was in. I'm a fully independent man. Got my own place. Go to night classes. The whole shebang. <laughs> How about I get you a bottle of water, huh? Anything I can do to help out? Ah, the industrious type. Wanna help me clean out the water supply? You won't leave the junk people throwing there. Overloads the filters. Depends. What's this worth to you? Well, the hundred caps. I can buy you. One twenty-five. Well, what kind of stuff is down there? You're looking for big things. Anything around the size of that book. I'm on it. Stand down. I've never seen your purpose out of there. Let's see.
That's good enough for me. Hi there. Look how clean the water is now. Good job. Here's your pen. Now, how about you pick up some bottles from the road? Shane, why was there a skull in the water? Uh, so maybe you weren't the first person I asked. Even the last guy found an unstable name for me. Hey, once the filters do their job, oh, water under the bridge. Alright? Anyway, uh, need some water? I don't need anything. Good luck finding this anywhere else. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I find that real funny. But I just got a dark sense of humor, to be honest. Working hard? Don't touch the paint. Don't worry, I won't. Good. The wall keeps out the bad guys, so I appreciate you not messing her up none. Thinking you need a little bit. Happy to help out. You see this paint em? Right. Hard work. Only if you throw in some more money. Fine. Pay you 125. Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. is the great green guardian behind me, the wall, our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other, the faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at sins and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a sin. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets. He was born in a shack just down the waterfront where Marshall has captured his And I will not abandon my sin. You can abandon for us. Time to head to the dugout in. Why buy just an ordinary piece of wood? Hey there. Whatever you want. I missed out on a lot of side quests in my first playthrough. Oh, here we go. Quiet, you. All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. So, what's the issue? Have you not listened? This DJ Travis, he is terrible. Makes me want to go back in time and prevent radio from ever being invented. But, Tim, it's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Oh, that's enough. I think it's serious. It doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? Sorry, we're just joking around a bit. <laughs> With Travis, he means well, but he does not have the confidence to meet that job or anything else. And so he's always off. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects to reserve everything, and so he does. Well, 
that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, kid. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We'll figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. <laughs> so all they're really trying to do is... Whatever it is, leave me out of it. Everyone just buys it here. But we have plenty of other drinks if you're feeling great. Is to get... Let me see here. Maybe later. That's ingenious. What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are doing to come. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of detail. Ever been in bar fight? I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here and there. Nothing too serious. We make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it with me. What do you think? I'm getting you? How would something like that even work? Makes sense, I promise. I have contacts. People I can talk Real top group. But they will take a dive for money. They confront Travis here at the You step in and he's to who she needs to stand up to. Then you and Travis take some dive. And nothing gets to rock. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? If the goons are getting paid to fight, I want some too. All right, fine. You get cut as well. One hundred cut. All right. I'm in. Ah, I know I can count on you. Yeah, it's too late to get you into our range. I'll come back tomorrow evening at the six o'clock, and everything will be ahead. Right. I'm not sure how well. Let me look at my s stats here. Charisma. the mega surgery sometime. Doc. Even though I'm a doctor, I admit I have a small dose. A quick drink after work. I think it's weird that him, a facial reconstruction surgeon, wears welding gloves. And apparently drinks. You ain't gonna last once you leave the wall, so don't get chunked. Excuse me. Whatever you want, I ain't got time. Take your order whenever you're ready. Let's see what you got. Take a look. <laughs> Literally everything that Bordeaux's got. I'm 
appears to be their room. One sleeps in a bed. The other one... ...in something else. Tell me if you need a room, otherwise the bar is over there. Here's your caps. You're in room two, just through the door. Unless there isn't a room one. Have a nice day. What if they're listening to this right now? What if they've been listening this whole time? Hey, hey, quiet, all right? It's time for that staged fight. It's our first, though. Hey, what's your problem? Why are you bothering Travis? Why are you getting involved in something that don't matter to you? Now get the hell out of here. I, I don't, I don't, I uh, don't. Okay. Hey, you Get lost. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey there, pal. Oh, it's I'm here to give you a hand. Come on, man, take a stand. Don't chicken out here. I, I don't think I, I could uh, do that thing that you're describing. <laughs> With these men, it could, well, it, it, could, it could turn violent. Don't worry, I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work. Hey, Travis. Whoa. I knew you had it in you. <laughs> I've got things to do now. Listen, really, I, I can't thank you enough. This is Diamond City Radio, and I'm, uh, you know, this is me, Travis. <laughs> I think and that anyway. went well. Here's Frankie Carl with a song. <laughs> Ready for the next part of Full True Plan? True. I'm not saying he was embellishing. Bring it on. Good attitude. Okay. It's nice and easy. You have seen Never Scarlett, mind. yes? Here's, she has uh, worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. <laughs> if someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. You and I never talked about this, all right? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh well. Well, quick save, real quick, right here. Thank you all for helping me out and for watching. I appreciate it. You all have a good time. See you all.